The missile tests and threats of nuclear war have given way to diplomacy and handshakes. And President Trump, no longer ridiculing Kim Jong-un, instead praises their rapport. We fell in love, okay? No, really. He wrote me beautiful letters. And they're great letters. We fell in love. But the hype of their historic meeting in Singapore last June quickly fizzled to stalemate. Both sides expecting the other to make a first move. North Korea wanting sanctions relief. The U.S. unwilling to give it. Months later, there has been so little progress toward denuclearization that negotiators appointed to hammer out a timeline have yet to even meet. With talk stalled, the two sides are again trading threats, though North Korea appears to be holding off on criticizing President Trump himself. Yet a second meeting with Kim is in the works. President Trump posting a Christmas Eve tweet from a briefing with North Korea advisors, saying he was looking forward to it. This is going to be a negotiation of, of two people, Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump. And I have my concerns that Donald Trump really understands the issues and understands what our red lines are. And while tension has eased on the peninsula, it may have less to do with U.S. tactics than North Korea's strategy. <laughs> Evidence suggesting North Korea still building up its nuclear and missile programs. In terms of urgency, North Korea is the problem. We have got to address that. And while the North's relations with South Korea have warmed, none of the symbolic milestones have changed the regime's nuclear stockpiles. Kim's New Year's Day message may offer clues to what he will offer at a second summit and what he expects President Trump to give. Janice Mackey for Air, NBC News, Beijing. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.